more pain is definitely accurate. Huh, okay. So, last I left. Okay, you know what? I should do a recap because I've solved runes. And I should at least cover them over. If I'm not going to actually solve them on stream, I should at least talk about them. Okay, so this room right here actually ended up being easier than I thought. I took the same kind of principle as I had used on the orthogonal trapdoor one. And basically the trick here is that all these five roaches were not... had a specific move order to them. And that's kind of where I learned about how every... There is a move order to how things work, and I'm sure that's how half this level is designed, and it just makes me sad. Um, so there's a specific order I had to get them. I had to do one roach, first roach here, second roach there, third roach there, fifth roach there, and fourth. So that way it would kind of follow down, and it would leave a little bit of a gap, and it would follow through, and they would all go high. It actually ended up being easier than it had looked. Um, this room here... Kind of the major trick was just where to place the, uh, and this was kind of another movement order issue thing. Um, there was a spot where I could sneak up here with the roaches spawning and the goblin kind of being down, blocked so I could kill the roach queen and then eventually murder the goblin. Nothing too overly fancy there, I guess. Um, this room was just dead simple. I really freaking blanked out on this. There's two roach queens. You just have to get them to block this path. So the mud baby could wander around, hop there, not get killed on the uh, tile, and come up. It really wasn't hard at all. That's probably the easiest room so far. Um, this one, all the roaches kind of stayed in the bottom here. And once you filled it up, then it was just trickery and timing to get it working. Nothing too fancy. Huh. So where does that leave us? A bunch of awful looking rooms is where it leaves us. Ugh. Okay, so I should cover the ones I kind of know what I'm doing. This one, I've got the general idea. It's a pain, and I haven't quite gone past a certain spot. Nope. So, it will not make a baby in the spot that it last moved at, which makes it fine for that. Nope. So again, and it will, and it will never lay it on a trapdoor. It's the other kind of trick thing that people didn't know. I'm sure everyone watching my stream knows that, so. Nope. Nope. There we go. That should do it. So again, it just moved to that spot, so it's fine. And this is kind of a trickier one. Nope. Give it a little too much time there. So it needs to end up spawning right here, because then it won't spawn back, and it will spawn on those two trapdoors. Well, the other thing is I need to start making my truck up as I do this. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Okay, so I'd have done it for that, except I was being incredibly inefficient with my moves. So now I can stay in there happily for a little bit. And that's really about as far as I got. So the thing I noticed here is that there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Exactly about 30. Wait a second here. Oh, here we go.
No, I have to wait. I have to somehow wait a turn. Oh wait, I know how I can wait a turn. Okay, no, maybe I've solved it. No, I'm too... I think no matter what, I have to spawn a roach here. It is the sad, unfortunate fact of life. But, I think the question is... So somewhere here I do have to spawn a roach. And the question is, where can I handle it? Actually, you know what? Actually, I think, you know what? No, and by that point in time, I can't get it back. Maybe this will be. Ah, no, I'm not quite. Wait a second. Hmm. I'm trying to think out loud here. If I realize sometimes I tap on the monitor with a pen and none of you guys can understand what I'm doing there. I know what I need to do. I did get one more baby on the bottom, and I should be good. There we go. Clear. Done. Okay. I need to get an official one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Down to 12. We are two-fifths of the way there. Yes. Wait. No, that's not right. We're a third of the way there. Wow. I should not be playing draw if my math is bad. Wait, no, we're more than that. Oh, no, wait. I was way off on room count. Why do I think there was only 18? There's more than that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I have 20, yeah, I love how I'm spending all my time doing this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I'm 8 over 20, which is equal to 40% of the way. Go me. Okay. So now, this hell on earth. <sighs> no. So somehow... Seems really weird to me. Ugh, oh, I'm gonna leave that room. Okay. So this is essentially a sliding puzzle, is it not? Like, uh, this is like those sliding rock puzzles in Pokemon. You and me both, Pinnacle. You and me both. Oh! Oh! This is easy. I just figured it out. Do 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 do. No. 
Oh, it's up to him like, what, one, like four turns too early. One, two, three, four. Nope. There we go. Ding. Yeah, that's not too bad. Bear in mind, that's not a movement order one. What Nuntar said. <laughs> having having to replay it. Um. No, that's probably a huge maze thing. 